Hello, everyone. Chelsea here from Fleet Hoster, and today we're going to talk a little bit about your customizable camera rules for your DCC 07-12 inside Geotap. The first thing you'll need to do is travel to your Geotap database under the Surf Site tab inside Vehicles and select Camera Rules. Once you're inside the screen, you'll see the very first option is your vehicle size. This vehicle size will range from private to trailer. The vehicle size is important because it tells the camera how sensitive it needs to be for each of the below options. The private vehicle would be a small four-door vehicle. Van would be a large work van or work truck. And trailer would be a commercial vehicle like a box truck or a tractor trailer. Each one of these options will give you the ability to turn on either a short 10 second video clip, take a picture, or receive just a notification. For the button press option, on the camera there is a red SOS button that can be used in the event of an emergency that we always recommend having turned on video. Deacceleration, this alert works off of G-Force, so once it senses negative G-Force, it will alert you to a rapid deacceleration or a hard deacceleration inside your vehicle. We always recommend a snapshot. Acceleration works the same way with positive G-force against the camera. And we again recommend a snapshot for this one as well. Violent left and right turns also work off of G-force. And we also recommend both of these on snapshot. Vibration. So the camera functions off of vibration and not motion. If once the vehicle starts moving, the vibration is enough to trigger the camera to start recording. If someone were trying to break into your parked vehicle and the camera was in standby mode, the vibration from the door shutting or the windows breaking would be enough to trigger the camera to start recording and send you a vibration event. We always recommend keeping this one on video. Distracted driving works off of the driver's pupil location. And if the driver's eyes are off of the road for more than a few seconds, the camera will then trigger a distracted driving alert and send you a snapshot is what we recommend here. Tamper alerts are based on someone trying to remove the camera from the windshield mount. This one can be a little touchy in the event that someone may bump into the camera while trying to place things on the dash. We recommend a snapshot for this one as well. Power disconnect is a little bit different in that it reports when someone removes the power either from the fuse harness or from the side of the camera. This one we recommend on video so that you can get a full picture of what's truly going on. Once you've made your desired options, you're going to click the Save button and your camera will be customized to your liking. You'll receive an alert that your camera rules have been updated successfully and be taken back out to your vehicle screen to begin the next camera. If you have any questions or concerns about your customizable camera rules for your DCC 07-12 inside GeoTab, feel free to give your Fleet Hoster support team a call anytime. Thank you and have a great day.